Hello everyone, welcome to civil engineering stuff and this is a part 2 of the uh, topic harbor engineering. So in the part 1 we discussed about the various technical definitions related to harbor engineering. Right, we discussed like what is the basic difference between a port and a harbor then what are the different types of harbor that is natural, semi-natural and artificial, what are their characteristics. We discussed about the various structures of uh, harbor that is breakwater, heap um, and then their types and after that structures like walls, quays, jetties, fenders, those were discussed, right? That was uh, all of these were discussed in the part one. The part two of harbor engineering topic is uh, uh, really mostly focused on the navigational aids, right? Uh, so we know how important uh, these navigational aids can be for the ships that are uh, moving especially at night or in the foggy time or at the storm uh, storm time period how difficult it gets uh, for the ship to locate the shore and reach to the shore safely so the navigational aids uh, serve that purpose during the low light area during the night time they guide the uh, cargo ships to avoid the dangerous zones like the rocky terrains that emerges from the sea and they help to guide the cargo ships to reach to the shore safely now these navigational aids are uh, installed either at the shore of the ship or at the uh, or in some navigational aids also are in between the sea to guide or provide a route map for the cargo ships to follow. Now these signals can either be a fixed signal or a floating signal. So fixed signals are what which are constructed along the seashore or a permanent structures while the floating signals are provided in between the C. So your floating signals are provided in between the C so as to either act as a warning signal or provide a or form a pathway for the cargo ships to follow. All right. So let's discuss first of all about uh, these fixed signals and in this the first one is called as the lighthouse. And in our life uh, we must have either seen through a picture or uh, if you are living or working along a seashore you must have seen a lighthouse lighthouse is a big tower that is divided into number of fragments and has a luminescent at the top right a high intensity light source is there at the top this light show light is what guides the ship to reach from the sea to the shore the tower is uh, made up of concrete material uh, reinforced with steel and uh, these this tower is divided into number of floors now in these floors uh, different uh, depending upon the uh, purpose uh, like different different storage facilities are provided like for the first floor can be provided for the uh, maintenance officer who lives uh, whose role is to maintain uh, the strength and durability of the structure as well as to ensure that the light is working to its optimum level. The uh, bottom floor can be provided for, for the officer's residence. The second floor may be provided as a first aid, uh, first aid floor where all the necess necessary uh, first aid kit are provided the next floor can be used as a uh, utensils and supplies for like food and everything can be provided likewise another floor can be there where the spare parts can be or may be provided or available for uh, if in case of uh, a, sh a ship or a cargo requires some maintenance to be done so the necessary equipments are available not necessary in that, that order but like the floors are divided into number of sectors all right so your lighthouse is a is a masonry structure or a concrete structure that is uh, that is provided along the seashore whose top is reserved for the 
light source right the top part is reserved for the uh, light source that provides or guides the ship to reach from the uh, sea to the shore and has number of floors these floors uh, can uh, serve different purposes all right now the type of foundation that is to be used uh, depends upon the characteristics of soil right and it's a rc structure that we have discussed it is divided into number of floors and the top more floor is reserved for the powerful lightning equipment all right the second is what we call as the light ship now this light ship comes under the floating signal category all right this light ship will come under the floating signals we have discussed our fixed and uh, floating so your light ship comes under the floating signal category now floating means that uh, it can uh, be used in between the sea right in the sea uh, it can be used so basically this is nothing but a small ship that has the lighthouse facility uh, on it so basically this ship has uh, like is embedded with a two open steel tower that are around 9 to 12 meter high and uh, over these the uh, pair of mirror reflectors are there which enhances the intensity of light on which uh, which are embedded or installed over these steel tower this is an example of the light ship you can see we have this ship that has two or more uh, generally two steel poles are there the top are reserved uh, uh, or at the top we have the light source and uh, we have the reflecting mirrors installed all over it now these the uh, this light ship the conventional color are fixed like we have uh, the ship has to be of red color red color with the markings in white this is a standard uh, notation that is used it may vary from country to country but this is like a, a global standard notation that is used the purpose is for a better visibility and uh, these ships are like since they can be uh, they can float over the sea so they, these are uh, these uh, light ships are used for the regulatory purposes that is the policemen's use for uh, for ensuring that there is no illegal activity taking place at the night at the same time it is also used as a rescue facility right suppose there is a, there is a storm and some mishap has happened so these light ship also act as a rescue facility right so this is another another navigation navigational aid that is used right and sometimes it may happen that the there is the fog is so much that the that it becomes very uh, very difficult for the ship to move so in that case using the uh, radio communication the light ship uh, light ship goes to the ship uh, and like it guides the ship to the sea shore then we have beacons beacons is a a, a fixed form of is it is a fixed form of navigational aids now uh, in beacon uh, beacons are small form of your uh, lighthouse and basically uh, a small structure over which a illuminating assembly is installed right and these are uh, being uh, like small in size these are generally installed over a Uh, over the uh, irregular topographies right like hill summits building structures like church and like that so basically what happens is that suppose you have uh, a hilly topography right that is situated along the sea right this is let's say we are looking at the top view this is a top view right so we have this land so what we'll do is we'll install these beacons all around the uh, the land area and through this the ship that is coming from the sea they will get to know the the boundaries of the of the land area likewise if they uh, if we have some irregular topography for a better uh, visibility uh we can have these beacons installed and these they will again help as a guiding device uh, for the ships to reach to the shore 
these are some of the examples of the beacons that are installed right then we have buoys now buoys are floating structures this means buoys are floating signals and again the, the size of buoys and the uh, and the beacons are somewhat similar but beacons are installed along the uh, the uh, or in the land area while buoys are installed over the sea and the purpose of buoys is that it act as a demarcating of the entrance and approach of the channel this means that if we have the whole sea available to us for the for the movement we have the whole sea available for for the movement now in this to demark the path that a ship should follow to safely reach to the shore now that work is done by installing the buoys all across the sea clear so we have the uh, like over extending sea shore uh, sea right in this uh, we install the buoys so that it forms a path line that a ship should follow to safely reach to the sea right and apart from this it may also act either as a as a warning signal or as a as a marking uh, for the accidents that may have happened the to, to mark out the place where the accident uh, has happened or it may also used for the for the anchoring or parking of the ship if that is the purpose of buoys the general purpose is to to mark the path that need to be followed if it, it these are also used to mark the spot where the accident has happened or for the mooring of the ship then these are called as mooring buoys and wreck buoys right so these are the buoys can be divided into two categories we have mooring buoys and the wreck buoys so uh, this is uh, an example of the conventional buoys that are used to demark the uh, the path that that should that a ship should follow they are they are placed all along the sea to give the route or to indicate like which route the ship must follow in case the buoys are used in such a way to park the ships right to uh, to anchor the uh, to provide a temporary anchor in between uh, in the sea for the, when that is the purpose of buoys these are called as the mooring buoys right they provide a fixed position to which ship can move during they stay in the harbor without using anchor okay so these are the buoys that are uh, are afloat at the sea if a, a ship need a temporary stay like they the ship want to do some fishing right so they what they do is they uh, they just move uh, in these buoys and then they can the sailor can do the necessary uh, work of their interest this is now the uh, size may uh, may vary depending upon the purpose right so if, if here you can see uh, small boats and yachts are there so the size of mooring buoys is small while if we, if the purpose is to for for the cargo ships to move then you can see the size of the mooring buoys changes right you can see uh, uh, these are so big that a human can also stay here right for a temporary time period okay so this avoids the anchoring of, of the ship just for a, for a, like say 3 hours 4 hours uh, they want to stay for that uh, so that the dip so that the ship do not deviate from its course because of the flow, flowing or the moving water for that uh, these mooring buoys are used then we have wreck buoys and wreck buoys are uh, our our special shaped buoys which are uh, used to indicate the places where the, an accident has happened to demark the area where accident uh, has has happened to demark that area uh, the wreck buoys are used the wreck buoys uh, also have certain facilities available uh, on them like uh, they can be uh, gps enabled they may have some uh, first aid facility available so and a bit of land area is available bit of land area is also available uh, land means like parking area a kind of uh, system is a, a, a 
available so that a human can like sit over this uh, suppose the uh, yacht or the ship has sank uh, the humans can take a temporary shelter over there right they have the gps facilities available so that uh, the uh, or like the uh, the illumination gun is there so that uh, using that they can uh, they can tell where their location is right to gps or the illumination gun as well as a few basic first aid kit is also there so as to give the uh, give the temporary first aid to the sailors all right after that we have uh, the fog signals and fog signals as the name indicate uh, they through the audio uh, they try to divert or uh, their att attention uh, towards them of the sailors right like lighthouse are through visual perceptions fog signals are through audio perceptions right they they work together also right uh, for a better navigation and to help in a much better way they work in combination now these fog signals can be uh, of three types we have ordinary bell struck by hand we have ordinary bell operated by mechanism submarine bell struck by mechanism and siren blown by compressed ears definitely the intensity increases as we move down right ordinary uh, by hand like uh, press uh, like uh, the the honking is done by hand then we have uh, the uh, mechanism to do the, do the same purpose and of course the compressed air horn system will uh, have the highest highest intensity of air horn right and uh, just like we discussed these signals are used to divert the attention of the marines and sailors towards the towards the uh, seashore right Right, so these audio signals uh, works with the uh, works together with the light uh, signals for the uh, better uh, better directions, right? And uh, uh, to, uh, these are what basically are the navigational aids, right? So with this, uh, we cover the navigational aids that are used uh, in the harbor. All right, so I hope uh, the lecture was useful to you. If if so, uh, like the video, uh, share your comments in uh, or views in the comment section, and subscribe to the channel if you find this uh, lecture useful. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.